In mathematics, the complexification or universal complexification of a real Lie group is given by a continuous homomorphism of the group into a complex Lie group with the universal property that every continuous homomorphism of the original group into another complex Lie group extends compatibly to a complex analytic homomorphism between the complex Lie groups. The complexification, which always exists, is unique up to isomorphism. Its Lie algebra is a quotient of the complexification of the Lie algebra of the original group. They are isomorphic if the original group has a quotient by a discrete normal subgroup which is linear. For compact Lie groups, the complexification, sometimes called the Chevalli complexification after Claude Chevalli, can be defined as the group of complex characters of the Hoff algebra of representative functions, i.e. the matrix coefficients of finite-dimensional representations of the group. In any finite-dimensional faithful unitary representation of the compact group it can be realized concretely as a closed subgroup of the complex general linear group. It consists of operators with polar decomposition G. Equals U E X P X, where U is a unitary operator in the compact group and X is a skew adjoint operator in its Lie algebra. In this case the complexification is a complex algebraic group and its Lie algebra is the complexification of the Lie algebra of the compact Lie group. Universal complexification Topic Definition Topic If G is a Lie group, a universal complexification is given by a complex Lie group G C and a continuous homomorphism Phi, G G C with the universal property that, if F G H is an arbitrary continuous homomorphism into a complex Lie group H, then there is a unique complex analytic homomorphism F, G C H such that F F phi Universal complexifications always exist and are unique up to a unique complex analytic isomorphism preserving inclusion of the original group. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Existence If G is connected with Lie algebra G, then its universal covering group G is simply connected. Let GC be the simply connected complex Lie group with Lie algebra GC. Let phi, GGC be the natural homomorphism and pi, GG the natural covering map. Then given a homomorphism F, GH, there is a unique complex analytic homomorphism E, GCH such that F pi. E phi, let K be the intersection of the kernels of the homomorphisms E as F varies over all possibilities. Then K is a closed normal complex Lie subgroup of GC and the quotient group is a universal complexification. In particular if G is simply connected, its universal complexification is just GC, for non-connected Lie groups G with identity component GO and component group γ. G GO, the extension 1 G O G γ 1 Display style one right arrow G carrot O right arrow G right arrow gamma right arrow one induces an extension one G O C G C gamma one 
display style one right arrow g carrot o underscore math bf c right arrow g underscore math bf c right arrow gamma right arrow one and the complex Lie group G C is a complexification of G. Topic Uniqueness. The universal property implies that the universal complexification is unique up to complex analytic isomorphism. Topic injectivity If the original group is linear, so too is the universal complexification and the homomorphism between the two is an inclusion. Inishtik and Vinberg give an example of a connected real Lie group for which the homomorphism is not injective even at the Lie algebra level. They take the product of T by the universal covering group of SL R and quotient out by the discrete cyclic subgroup generated by an irrational rotation in the first factor and a generator of the center in the second. Topic: Chevalley complexification. Topic: <laughs> Half algebra of matrix coefficients. If G is a compact Lie group, the asterisk algebra of matrix coefficients of finite dimensional unitary representations is a uniformly dense asterisk subalgebra of C G. The asterisk algebra of complex valued continuous functions on G it is naturally a Hopf algebra with commultiplication given by delta F G H equals F G H display style display style delta F G H equals F G H. The characters of A are the asterisk homomorphisms of A into C. They can be identified with the point evaluations F F G for G in G, and the commultiplication allows the group structure on G to be recovered. The homomorphisms of A into C also form a group. It is a complex Lie group and can be identified with the complexification GC of G. The asterisk algebra A is generated by the matrix coefficients of any faithful representation σ of G. It follows that σ defines a faithful complex analytic representation of GC. Invariant theory The original approach of Chevalli to the complexification of a compact Lie group can be concisely stated within the language of classical invariant theory, described in Weyl Let G be a closed subgroup of the unitary group U v, where V is a finite-dimensional complex inner product space. Its Lie algebra consists of all skew adjoint operators X such that EXPTX lies in G for all real T. Set W. Topic <laughs> VC with the trivial action of G on the second summoned. The group G acts on WN with an element U acting as UN. The commutant or centralizer algebra is denoted by an ENDGWN. It is generated as a asterisk algebra by its unitary operators and its commutant is the asterisk algebra spanned by the operators UN. The complexification GC of G consists of all operators G in GL v such that GN commutes with an and G acts trivially on the second summoned in C. By definition it is a closed subgroup of GL v. The defining relations as a commutant show that G is an algebraic subgroup. Its intersection with U v coincides with G, since it is a priori a larger compact group for which the irreducible representations stay irreducible and inequivalent when restricted to G. 
Since N is generated by unitaries, an invertible operator G lies in G C if the unitary operator U and positive operator P in its polar decomposition G. Topic U P both lie in G C. Thus U lies in G and the operator P can be written uniquely as P. EXPT with T a self adjoint operator. By the functional calculus for polynomial functions, it follows that HN lies in the commutant of an if H equals EXPZT with Z in C. In particular, taking Z purely imaginary, T must have the form X with X in the Lie algebra of G since every finite dimensional representation of G occurs as a direct sum and of Wn, it is left invariant by GC and thus every finite dimensional representation of G extends uniquely to GC. The extension is compatible with the polar decomposition. Finally the polar decomposition implies that G is a maximal compact subgroup of GC, since a strictly larger compact subgroup would contain all integer powers of a positive operator P, a closed infinite discrete subgroup. Decompositions in the Chevalier complexification equals topic carton decomposition the decomposition derived from the polar decomposition g c equals g p equals g exp I G display style display style G underscore math BF C equals G C D O T P equals G C D O T E X P I math frac G, where G is the Lie algebra of G, is called the Cartan decomposition of G C. The exponential factor P is invariant under conjugation by G, but is not a subgroup. The complexification is invariant under taking adjoints, since G consists of unitary operators and P of positive operators. <laughs> Gauss decomposition The Gauss decomposition is a generalization of the Lu decomposition for the general linear group and a specialization of the Bruhat decomposition. For GL v, it states that with respect to a given orthonormal basis E1, and an element G of GL v can be factorized in the form G equals X D Y display style display style g equals x dy with x lower unit triangular y upper unit triangular and d diagonal if and only if all the principal minors of g are non vanishing in this case x y and d are uniquely determined in fact Gaussian elimination shows there is a unique x such that x minus 1 gram is upper triangular, the upper and lower unit triangular matrices, n plus and n minus, are closed unipotent subgroups of GL v. Their Lie algebras consist of upper and lower strictly triangular matrices. The exponential mapping is a polynomial mapping from the Lie algebra to the corresponding subgroup by nilpotence. The inverse is given by the logarithm mapping which by unipotence is also a polynomial mapping. In particular there is a correspondence between closed connected subgroups of n plus or minus and subalgebras of their Lie algebras. 
The exponential map is onto in each case, since the polynomial function log a or e b lies in a given Lie subalgebra if a and b do and are sufficiently small. The Gauss decomposition can be extended to complexifications of other closed connected subgroups G of U v by using the root decomposition to write the complexified Lie algebra as G C equals N Minus T C N plus display style display style math frac G underscore math BF C equals math frac N underscore O plus math frac T underscore math BF C O plus math frac N underscore plus where t is the Lie algebra of a maximal torus t of g and n plus or minus are the direct sum of the corresponding positive and negative root spaces. In the weight space decomposition of v as eigenspaces of t, t acts as diagonally, n plus acts as lowering operators and n minus as raising operators, n plus or minus are nilpotent Lie algebras acting as nilpotent operators, they are each other's adjoints on v. In particular T acts by conjugation of N+, plus, so that Tc N+, plus is a semi-direct product of a nilpotent Lie algebra by an abelian Lie algebra. By Engel's theorem, if a N is a semi-direct product, with a abelian and N nilpotent, acting on a finite dimensional vector space W with operators in a diagonalizable and operators in N nilpotent, there is a vector W that is an eigenvector for A and is annihilated by N. In fact it is enough to show there is a vector annihilated by n, which follows by induction on dim n, since the derived algebra n annihilates a non-zero subspace of vectors on which n, in and are act with the same hypotheses. Applying this argument repeatedly to Tcn plus shows that there is an orthonormal basis E1 n of v consisting of eigenvectors of Tc with n plus acting as upper triangular matrices with zeros on the diagonal. If n plus or minus and Tc are the complex Lie groups corresponding to n plus and Tc, then the Gauss decomposition states that the subset n minus T C n plus Display style, display style, n underscore, t underscore, math bf, c, n underscore, plus is a direct product and consists of the elements in GC for which the principal minors are non vanishing. It is open and dense. Moreover, if t denotes the maximal torus in U, v, n plus or minus equals n plus or minus g c t c equals t c g c Display style, display style, N underscore PM equals Math BF, N underscore PM, Cap G underscore, Math BF, C, T underscore, Math BF, C equals Math BF, T underscore, Math BF, C, Cap G underscore, Math BF, C. These results are an immediate consequence of the corresponding results for GL V. Topic: Bruhat decomposition. If W equals ing t, t denotes the Weyl group of T and B denotes the Borel subgroup T C n plus. The Gauss decomposition is also a consequence of the more precise Bruhat decomposition. G C equals sigma element of W B Sigma B Display style, display style, G underscore, Math BF C equals big cup underscore, Sigma in W B, Sigma B. 
decomposing GC into a disjoint union of double cosets of B. The complex dimension of a double cos A B sigma B is determined by the length of sigma as an element of W. The dimension is maximized at the coxeter element and gives the unique open dense double cos A. Its inverse conjugates B into the Borel subgroup of lower triangular matrices in GC. The Bruhat decomposition is easy to prove for SL N C. Let B be the Borel subgroup of upper triangular matrices and TC the subgroup of diagonal matrices. So N TC TC. Topic SN. For G in SL N, C, take B in B so that BG maximizes the number of zeros appearing at the beginning of its rows. Because a multiple of one row can be added to another, each row has a different number of zeros in it. Multiplying by a matrix W in N T C, it follows that W B G lies in B for uniqueness, if W1 B W2. B0, then the entries of W1 W2 vanish below the diagonal. So the product lies in TC, proving uniqueness. Chevalli showed that the expression of an element G is G. Topic B1 sigma B2 becomes unique if B1 is restricted to lie in the upper unit triangular subgroup N sigma N plus sigma N minus sigma minus 1. In fact, if m sigma equals n plus sigma n plus sigma minus 1, this follows from the identity n plus equals n sigma m sigma. Display style display style n underscore plus equals n underscore sigma c d o t m underscore sigma. The group n plus has a natural filtration by normal subgroups n plus k with zeros in the first k minus one super diagonals, and the successive quotients are abelian. Defining n sigma k and m sigma k to be the intersections with n plus k, it follows by decreasing induction on k that n plus k equals n sigma k m sigma k. Indeed, n sigma k n plus k plus one and m sigma k n plus k plus one are specified in n plus k by the vanishing of complementary entries i j on the kth superdiagonal according to whether sigma preserves the order i a equals zero j minus j zero. Display style display style are equals begin p matrix zero and j j and zero end p matrix then s p n c is the fixed point subgroup of the involution theta g equals a g t minus one a minus one of s l two n c. It leaves the subgroups n plus or minus t c and b invariant. If the basis elements are indexed by n n minus one one minus one Minus n, then the Weyl group of S p n c consists of sigma satisfying sigma j. Topic minus j, i.e. commuting with theta. Analogs of b, t c, and n plus or minus are defined by intersection with S p n c, i.e. as fixed points of theta. The uniqueness of the decomposition G N sigma B equals theta N theta sigma theta B implies the Bruhat decomposition for S P N C. The same argument works for so N C. It can be realized as the fixed points of psi G. Topic. B G T minus one B minus one in S L N C where B J 
Topic Iwasawa decomposition The Iwasawa decomposition GC equals GAN display style display style G underscore math BF C equals G C D O T A C D O T N gives a decomposition for GC for which, unlike the Carton decomposition, the direct factor N is a closed subgroup, but it is no longer invariant under conjugation by G. It is the semidirect product of the nilpotent subgroup N by the abelian subgroup A. For U v and its complexification GL v, this decomposition can be derived as a restatement of the Gram-Schmidt orthonormalization process, in fact let E1, N be an orthonormal basis of V and let G be an element in GL v. Applying the Gram-Schmidt process to GE1, Gen, there is a unique orthonormal basis F1, Fn and positive constants I such that Fi equals Aigei plus Jinjigej. Display style, display style, F underscore I equals or underscore I, G E underscore I plus some underscore J. If K is the unitary taking A to Phi, it follows that G minus one K lies in the subgroup N, where A is the subgroup of positive diagonal matrices with respect to A, and N is the subgroup of upper unit triangular matrices. Using the notation for the Gauss decomposition, the subgroups in the Iwasawa decomposition for GC are defined by A equals EXP I T equals A G C N equals EXP N plus equals N G C Display style, display style, are equals EXPI, Math frac T equals Math BF A cap G underscore Math BF C N equals EXP, Math frac N underscore plus equals Math BF N cap G underscore Math BF C since the decomposition is direct for GL v, it is enough to check that GC. Topic <laughs> GAN. From the properties of the Iwasawa decomposition for GL v, the map G times A times N is a diffeomorphism onto its image in GC, which is closed. On the other hand, the dimension of the image is the same as the dimension of GC, so it is also open. So GC GAN because GC is connected, Zhelebenko gives a method for explicitly computing the elements in the decomposition. For G in GC set H equals G asterisk G. This is a positive self-adjoint operator so its principal minors do not vanish. By the Gauss decomposition, it can therefore be written uniquely in the form H x dy with x in n minus, d in tc and y in n plus. Since H is self-adjoint, uniqueness forces y. X asterisk. Since it is also positive D must lie in A and have the form D. Topic <laughs> EXP it for some unique T in T. Letter EXP it, to be its unique square root in A. Set N. Topic Y and K G N minus one a minus one. Then K is unitary, so is in G, and G equals can equals Topic Complex structures on homogeneous spaces equals 
The Iwasawa decomposition can be used to describe complex structures on the G orbits in complex projective space of highest weight vectors of finite dimensional irreducible representations of G. In particular the identification between G, T and G, C, B can be used to formulate the borel weyl theorem. It states that each irreducible representation of G can be obtained by holomorphic induction from a character of T, or equivalently that it is realized in the space of sections of a holomorphic line bundle on G, T. The closed connected subgroups of G containing T are described by Borel de Siebenthal theory. They are exactly the centralizers of tori ST since every torus is generated topologically by a single element X, these are the same as centralizers CG X of elements X in T. By a result of Hof CG X is always connected, indeed any element Y is along with S contained in some maximal torus, necessarily contained in CG X. Given an irreducible finite dimensional representation V lambda with highest weight vector V of weight lambda, the stabilizer of C V in G is a closed subgroup H. Since V is an eigenvector of T, H contains T. The complexification G C also acts on V, and the stabilizer is a closed complex subgroup P containing T C. Since V is annihilated by every raising operator corresponding to a positive root alpha, P contains the Borel subgroup B. The vector V is also a highest weight vector for the copy of SL2 corresponding to alpha, so it is annihilated by the lowering operator generating G minus alpha if lambda alpha equals zero. The Lie algebra P of P is the direct sum of TC and root space vectors annihilating V, so that P equals B alpha lambda equals zero G minus alpha. Display style display style math frac P equals math frac B O plus big O plus underscore alpha lambda equals zero math frac G underscore alpha. The Lie algebra of H. Topic PG is given by PG. By the Iwasawa decomposition GC GAN. Since and fixes C V, the G orbit of V in the complex projective space of V lambda coincides with the G C orbit and G, H equals G C, P. Display style, display style, G, H equals G underscore, Math BF, C, P, in particular G, T equals G C, B. Display style, display style, G, T equals G underscore, Math BF, C, B, using the identification of the Lie algebra of T with its dual, H equals the centralizer of lambda in G, and hence is connected. The group P is also connected. In fact, the space G, H is simply connected, since it can be written as the quotient of the compact universal covering group of the compact semisimple group G, Z by a connected subgroup, where Z is the center of G. If Po is the identity component of P, G, C, P has G, C, Po as a covering space, so that P equals Po. The homogeneous space G, C, P has a complex structure, because P is a complex subgroup. The orbit in complex projective space is closed in the Zariski topology by Chow's theorem, so is a smooth projective variety. The borel weyl theorem and its generalizations are discussed in this context in Serra Helgeson Dustemart and Kolk and Sepansky the parabolic subgroup P can also be written as a union of double cosets of BP equals sigma element of W lambda B sigma B. Display style. Display style. P equals big cup underscore sigma in W underscore lambda B sigma B, where W lambda is the stabilizer of lambda in the Weyl group W. It is generated by the reflections corresponding to the simple roots orthogonal to lambda. Topic 
Noncompact real forms There are other closed subgroups of the complexification of a compact connected Lie group G which have the same the complexified Lie algebra. These are the other real forms of GC. Involutions of simply connected compact Lie groups If G is a simply connected compact Lie group and σ is an automorphism of period 2, then the fixed point subgroup K equals G σ is automatically connected. In fact this is true for any automorphism of G, as shown for inner automorphisms by Steinberg and in general by Borel. This can be seen most directly when the involution σ corresponds to a Hermitian symmetric space. In that case σ is inner and implemented by an element in a one-parameter subgroup EXPTT contained in the center of G σ. The innerness of σ implies that K contains a maximal torus of G, so has maximal rank. On the other hand, the centralizer of the subgroup generated by the torus S of elements EXPTT is connected, since if X is any element in K there is a maximal torus containing X and S, which lies in the centralizer. On the other hand, it contains K since S is central in K and is contained in K since Z lies in S so K is the centralizer of S and hence connected. In particular K contains the center of G for a general involution σ, the connectedness of G σ can be seen as follows, the starting point is the abelian version of the result, if T is a maximal torus of a simply connected group G and σ is an involution leaving invariant T and a choice of positive roots or equivalently a weyl chamber, then the fixed point subgroup T σ is connected. In fact the kernel of the exponential map from t display style mathfrak t onto t is a lattice lambda with a z basis indexed by simple roots which sigma permutes splitting up according to orbits t can be written as a product of terms t on which sigma acts trivially or terms t2 where sigma interchanges the factors the fixed point subgroup just corresponds to taking the diagonal subgroups in the second case, so is connected. Now let X be any element fixed by σ, let S be a maximal torus in Cg X σ and let T be the identity component of Cg X S. Then T is a maximal torus in G containing X and S it is invariant under σ and the identity component of T σ is S. In fact since X and S commute, they are contained in a maximal torus which, because it is connected, must lie in T by construction T is invariant under σ. The identity component of T σ contains S, lies in C G X sigma and centralizes S, so it equals S but S is central in T, to T must be abelian and hence a maximal torus. For sigma acts as multiplication by minus one on the Lie algebra, T S display style math frac T ominous math frac S, so it and therefore also T display style math frac T are abelian. The proof is completed by showing that σ preserves a weyl chamber associated with T for then T σ is connected so must equal S hence X lies in S since X was arbitrary, G σ must therefore be connected. To produce a weyl chamber invariant under σ, note that there is no root space G alpha Display style mathfrak G underscore alpha on which both X and S acted trivially, for this would contradict the fact that C G X S has the same Lie algebra as T, hence there must be an element S in S such that T equals X S acts non-trivially on each root space. In this case T is a regular element of T. 
the identity component of its centralizer in G equals T. There is a unique Weyl alcova in T. Display style math frac T such that T lies in EXPA and zero lies in the closure of A since T is fixed by sigma, the alcove is left invariant by sigma and hence so also is the Weyl chamber C containing it. Conjugations on the complexification Let G be a simply connected compact Lie group with complexification G C. The map C G equals G asterisk minus one defines an automorphism of G C as a real Lie group with G as fixed point subgroup. It is conjugate linear on G C. Display style math frac G underscore math B F C and satisfies C2 equals id. Such automorphisms of either G C or G C display style math frac G underscore math BF C are called conjugations. Since G C is also simply connected any conjugation C1 on G C Display style math frac G underscore math BF C corresponds to a unique automorphism C one of G C. The classification of conjugations C zero reduces to that of involutions sigma of G because given A C one there is an automorphism phi of the complex group G C such that C zero equals Phi C one Phi minus one Display style, display style, C underscore zero equals var phi, circ C underscore one, circ var phi carrot minus one commutes with C. The conjugation C0 then leaves G invariant and restricts to an involutive automorphism σ. By simple connectivity the same is true at the level of Lie algebras. At the Lie algebra level C0 can be recovered from σ by the formula C 0 x plus i y equals sigma x minus i sigma y display style display style c underscore 0 x plus i y equals sigma x i sigma y for x y in g display style math frac g to prove the existence of phi let psi equals C1 C an automorphism of the complex group G C. On the Lie algebra level it defines a self-adjoint operator for the complex inner product X Y equals minus B X C Y Display style, display style, x, y equals b, x, c, y, where b is the killing form on g, c. Display style, math frac g underscore math bf c. Thus, psi two is a positive operator and an automorphism along with all its real powers. In particular, take phi equals psi 2 1 4 display style display style var phi equals psi caret 2 caret 1 quarter it satisfies c 0 c equals phi c 1 
phi minus one c equals phi c c one phi equals psi two one two psi minus one equals phi minus one C C one Phi minus one equals C Phi C one Phi minus one equals C C zero Display style, display style, C underscore zero, C equals Vafi C underscore one, Vafi carrot, minus one, C equals Vafi C C underscore one, Vafi equals Psi carrot two, carrot one half, Psi carrot minus one equals Vafi carrot minus one, C C underscore one, Vafi carrot minus one equals C, Vafi C underscore one, Vafi carrot minus one equals equals cc underscore zero. Topic Carton decomposition in a real form. For the complexification GC, the Carton decomposition is described above. Derived from the polar decomposition in the complex general linear group, it gives a diffeomorphism G C equals G EXP I G equals G P equals P G Display style, display style, G underscore, Math BF C equals G, C D O T E X P I, Math frac G equals G, C D O T P equals P, C D O T G. On G C there is a conjugation operator C corresponding to G as well as an involution sigma commuting with C. Let C zero equals C sigma and let G zero be the fixed point subgroup of C. It is closed in the matrix group GC and therefore a Lie group. The involution σ acts on both G and G0. For the Lie algebra of G there is a decomposition G equals K P Display style, display style, math frac G equals math frac K O plus math frac P into the plus 1 and minus 1 eigenspaces of sigma the fixed point subgroup k of sigma in g is connected since g is simply connected its lie algebra is the plus 1 eigenspace k display style math frac k the lie algebra of g0 is given by g equals k P display style display style math frac G equals math frac K O plus math frac P and the fixed point subgroup of Sigma is again K so that G G zero equals K in G zero there is a carton decomposition G zero equals K exp I P equals K P zero equals P zero K 
Display style, display style, G underscore zero equals K, CDOT, EXPI, Math frac P equals K, CDOT P underscore zero equals P underscore zero, CDOT K. Which is again a diffeomorphism onto the direct and corresponds to the polar decomposition of matrices. It is the restriction of the decomposition on GC. The product gives a diffeomorphism onto a closed subset of G0. To check that it is surjective, for G in G0 write G equals UP with U in G and P in P. Since C0 G equals G, uniqueness implies that sigma U. U and sigma P P minus one, hence U lies in K and P in P zero. The Cartan decomposition in G zero shows that G zero is connected, simply connected and noncompact, because of the direct factor P zero. Thus G zero is a noncompact real semisimple Lie group. Moreover, given a maximal abelian subalgebra, a display style math frac a in P display style math frac P a equals exp a display style math frac a is a toral subgroup such that sigma a equals a minus one on a and any two such a display style math frac a s are conjugate by an element of k. The properties of a can be shown directly. A is closed because the closure of A is a toral subgroup satisfying sigma a equals a minus one, so its Lie algebra lies in M display style math frac M and hence equals a display style math frac a by maximality. A can be generated topologically by a single element expx, so Display style math frac a is the centralizer of x in M. Display style math frac M in the k orbit of any element of M. Display style math frac M. There is an element y such that x add k y is minimized at k equals one, setting k equals exptt with t in K display style math frac K. It follows that x t y topic zero and hence x y zero, so that y must lie in a display style math frac a. Thus. M display style math frac M is the union of the conjugates of a display style math frac a. In particular, some conjugate of X lies in any other choice of a display style math frac a, which centralizes that conjugate. So, by maximality, the only possibilities are conjugates of Display style math frac a. A similar statements hold for the action of k on a zero equals i a. Display style math frac a underscore zero equals i math frac a in p zero. Display style math frac p underscore zero. Morifer from the Cartan decomposition for G zero, if A O equals E X P zero. Display style math frac a underscore zero. Then G zero equals K A 
zero k display style display style g underscore zero equals car underscore zero k topic it was our decomposition in a real form topic see also real form lie theory equals equals notes <laughs>